Good morning, good afternoon or evening. Welcome to a new video for this channel. My name is David Castillo and this time we are going to talk about the sheet metal certification exam. Which section has and time designated for pass? What is the dynamic of the work for this exam? So let's get to the topic. And uh, first of all, I'm going to start sharing my screen so you can see more or less what the dynamic for this exam. First of all, when you activate your session in the virtual test set and activate the voucher for sheet metal, what you're going to encounter before starting the exam, it is a screen very similar to this one, where they tell you that you will be an exam of 14 questions and then you will have two hours to finish it. At the same time, you need to pass uh, 135 points out of 180 possible. I'm going to explain the dynamics for this exam supported with images that is publicly available for your preparation in the solid work certification. Uh, this exam is very similar from that uh, from the one that you will uh, going to pass and the, uh, in this exam they ask you for uh, an initial part and you will need to do an operation of series of, of operation for the very first question and answer for a weight or a, or a development and then you have a second question where you will have a, a little bit of modification of this part and asked again about the weight or the development. This is going to happen during uh, the 14 questions. So basically, uh, you will run do into during all the question uh, of the exam with that very same part. But this part evolves from the first question to the last one. And you will need to add more stuff or uh, then this is the dynamic about this exam. Uh, this image represents the initial part, then the development, and then the modification of the next question. And you will do it again and again, this, uh, this design. So basically, it's a progressive ascending work. So it's uh, very important uh, to know that, uh, unlike other exams, uh, it's not saturated of exercises. But this for the very same reason that you only will have one part that will, that one part need, needed to be correct answered and follow the instruction from the very first question. Because uh, if you don't do it that way, you uh, if you do something wrong in the very first question, all the question of the of the exam will be bad. So you need to be very careful of the of the instructions of the exam. But the instructions are very, very clear for this exam. So the instructions tell you what operations or what kind of operation you will do. And obviously with that detail of uh, operation, you will uh, feel the values that you will need. So in this part is easy because the exam guides you of what you will need to do. So uh, in this sample that I'm speaking right now, I placed uh, uh, the bend radius and the thickness according to the instruction of, uh, of the exercise. And this is very important. So as I illustrate uh, for uh, the operations, the exam is very clear about what operation and what values you will add in the options. For example, you will see right now the meter flange and the values for the distance between edges or the separation. 
but not also this you will also have to modify the k value or the the neutral fiber k factor and for certain types of operation uh, you will need to modify the relief if it's a square or a ratio or you need to add a value on width and depth uh, the main detail of this is to read extremely carefully uh, the instructions the instruction is the main part of this exam Other important thing is that you will use an operation of close corner that will help you a lot. This operation will help you on, on one portion of the exam. So basically you need to know all the operations related to sheet metal and add it because as you will see in the instructions, the instructions option are specific for this kind of operation and you fill it according to the instruction of the exam. Well, uh, one of the first complications for this exam is about the forming tools. For these forming tools, you have uh, you will have one question that you will need to add to add it. So, if you don't have configured a folder for the use of uh, forming tools, uh, you will have problems about adding that part. You will be given a part for the forming tools, but if you don't have synchronized it and right click it uh, to set that folder as a forming tool folder you will have problem because it appears to you as a derivative part so it's very important to set a folder uh, for the upcoming forming tools and then you add the resource you will give them by the exam this is one of the possible errors and difficulties of this exam There's also uh, another type of problems, but this one is the first that you maybe will face. There's another problem. This problem is uh, more related uh, to, the to the gauge properties or the type of materials property. So uh, at what point of the exam you will receive an Excel file with the properties of the sheet metal part and you will add a configuration that will tell you gauges and the inner radius and the k factor so it's very very important that for example if you are in another country uh, and you have as as for me for example i have my settings in spanish and i do my exam in spanish then there will be no problems because uh, the information I will receive from the exam all will be in Spanish and my configuration in SOLIDWORKS is also in Spanish. But if you are doing your exam in English and your configuration uh, of SOLIDWORKS is your native language, there will be a lot of problems about that. So what I suggest is that you click in the options of SOLIDWORKS and set the language that you will have for also for the exam and for SOLIDWORKS. It will need be to be synchronized, the language of SOLIDWORKS and the language of the exam. Because when if you receive an archive, an Excel archive in a different language, from your native SOLIDWORKS, there will be a conflict where you won't be able to open that tempo fi template file and they that will cause uh, problems. So you need to be very, very careful. I will show in a moment 
the part the configuration on the options part and you will need to check the box of the english part or unclick it from the english menus so this one is up to you to click or unclick the english menu depending of the language you will uh, do your exams So I recommend basically to you to be very careful about this point. This, these two points I will just mention, the option of the language and the option on the folder for forming tools, it need to be set before the exam. Because if you are doing during the exam, that will cause you to lose a lot of valuable time. So, as you can see, yes, please so set that one. Also, one other important thing is about, uh, because you are going to do a lot of modification of these parts, uh, it's desirable to use equations and global variables to avoid losing time about that. And and to to save uh, enough time for the exam it's it will be very very valuable to add uh, valuable uh, value resources uh, the equations or the global variables need to be set during the exam because that will save you time and calculation and modify the values of every part this is also very useful because uh, as I said, if you made a mistake in the question number five, from the question number five and from the rest of the exam, it all will be wrong. So this is the kind of complicated, uh, the complication of this exam. You change the complications from having four or five different uh, pieces or parts to do to just one, but you need to be very careful to reading the instructions. So, uh, this is basically with the, the things that I need uh, to explain to you for this exam. Uh, I hope this will be very helpful for you. This is just only a representation of uh, things you need to do for the exam. If you need, uh, if you have doubt, comments, please send me, uh, place comments below. Uh, and if this video helped you, uh, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, for this time, it's all for this video and goodbye to all. Bye-bye.